we know that name node has complete information about every piece of data available in the cluster. There is always only one name node per Hadoop cluster. Its main duty is to get the data stored in the cluster with the help of data nodes. When a new data is submitted in a Hadoop cluster, the name node divides it into smaller parts. Then it identifies the data nodes which can actually store this partition data. The name node then transfers the data to each data node and it maintains a table of data allocation. When an application wishes to retrieve the data from HDFS, it will contact the name node for the location of data. The name node looks into its allocation table and conveys the locations. The name node periodically receives the status of stored data from the data nodes. It helps the name node to maintain its data storage up to date. And how does the data node function? Data nodes are actual storage locations in Hadoop cluster. A Hadoop cluster can have thousands or even more data nodes as per storage requirements. Data nodes store data as and when commanded by the name node. The data nodes communicate to the application as and when requested without name node's intervention. Remember that name node is the only component that has given data locations to the application. Data nodes periodically give update about data stored with them to the name node. How is data being used in this scenario? The client accesses the file system on behalf of the user by communicating with the name node and data nodes. The user functions through a file system interface presented by the client. It is important to know that the user is the application which generates data access requests. Client machines may or may not be part of the Hadoop cluster, but they have all the settings of the cluster. They are neither master nor slaves. Client machines load data into the cluster through name node. So now we understood that data nodes actually store data and name node coordinates all the operations related to data and data nodes. We have also understood that HDFS is efficient as it can store huge amount of data with numerous data nodes, there is a coordinator, specifically name node, which always has complete and accurate information about every piece of data. The applications can store and locate their data in cluster with the help of the name node. Once the data is located, the application can directly access it without the interference of name node. These points make HDFS efficient. Efficiency also means a lot about consistent and proper storage of data. But how is data actually being stored in Hadoop system? If data is being stored, there must be a storage unit.